Good morning. Let's start today with some Bible study. The scripture of the day is Philippians chapter 4 verse 9 and it reads, Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Paul is writing this letter to the Philippians to remind them and encourage them about all the teachings that they just learned. Because it's one thing to hear and read the scripture, but it's another thing to actually do what the scripture says. And <clears throat> I remember it was probably about maybe two or three years ago, I was riddled with anxiety. Everything I thought about was bad. I could not think of anything good. And it was like these intense imaginations imaginations about bad things happening to me or to anyone that I love. I just knew that my day would be bad. And when I say bad, I mean like terrible. And I was like, why does my mind think like this? Why don't I imagine good things happening? Why do I always imagine bad things happening? And I do know that Jesus is our mighty counselor. He is the Prince of Peace. I was told this many times before, and then I was led to the scripture right above Philippians 4, 9. If you go to Philippians 4, 8, it says, finally, brothers... And sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So when I read into that scripture, I was like, okay, I'm going to think about those things. But it was still hard to just reframe my mind and to think about all the things that Paul listed that I should think about. So I started journaling. I started actually writing to Jesus every day. I was like, dear Jesus. And I was just letting out all of my fears, all of my anxieties, all of my stressors. And I actually didn't even realize at first the big impact that it had on my mind until I went back and read my journal and was like, wow, I used to think so differently from today. Now, all I think about are things that are pure, are things that are true, are things that are lovely, are things that are praiseworthy. But I will say it did take time and I did have to spend time with Jesus so that way he can transform my mind and think about things that are pure, that are lovely, that are praiseworthy. And so now I'm not just a hearer, but I'm also a doer. So I just want to encourage you today that Tap into God, tap into your Bible, tap into prayer and also journal so you can see how God has brought you this far and how he has reshaped your mind and restructured it. So that way, whatever you have learned or received or heard or seen, you can put into practice and the God of peace will be with you. Amen.